I always say God and guns got us here and God and guns will keep us here. Never surrender on the Second Amendment. Never give them an inch. I had a gun control group. I think they're called Moms Demand Action or something like that. Of course, it sounds pretty or something, right? Like moms are coming through the hall, you know, demanding action. Um, and they said, well, we're not for, birth, uh, we're not for gun control. Um, we're not, we're not to take away your second amendment. We just want reasonable laws placed. Uh-huh, sure. So they came up to my office right on the line. We have like a line where you can step over and I go, don't step over into my office. Don't even step over the line because you're not getting anywhere with that bull crap in my office. That was Pennsylvania House Representative Stephanie Brolowitz of the 76th District admitting on camera that she doesn't take her job to listen, serve, or represent the needs of her constituents seriously. This event happened last month and it really shows the lack of accountability in regard to elected officials have for the people they're supposed to work for. I said, you can go down to the hall to some leftist leaning Republican or some liberal Democrat, but you're not getting anywhere with that in my office. What pisses me off the most about this clip is how Republican politicians claim they're for everyday working class citizens, but when people actually take the extra time to ask for help, to advocate for themselves, to show you how you can best serve them, you choose to ignore them. How dare you? I seriously can't believe people think that this is still the greatest democracy in the world. It's giving hypocritical and Representative Borowitz is one of the biggest hypocrites of all. A huge part of Bullwick's platform is family. In fact, she was the main sponsor of the Homophobic Parental Bill of Rights, a proposed legislation that would restrict lessons on gender identity and sexual orientation in schools. And then they said, well, we pray before we come. We don't want to take away your Second Amendment. I said, well, you better go back and pray again because I'm a Christian and I believe in the biblical right of self-defense. And I said, if you want to pray about something, come back here in about a month and lobby to bring prayer in the Bible back in schools if you want to see change. So why, Stephanie, is it good to listen to parents who are homophobic, but not to moms who want to protect their kids from gun violence? Unless it was never really about what parents want and more about being a homophobic maniac. There are so many things wrong with this lady. First, I just don't understand how you can look into the eyes of concerned mothers, mothers who want to protect their children, mothers who want to feel secure knowing that their kids will be safe when they send them off to school and not only ignore their pleas, but tell them to go away. That's sick, especially knowing that 118 children and teens die in Pennsylvania every year from gun violence according to research from Every Town for Gun Control. Nobody is trying to take away your guns. We just don't want to get shot in at any conceivable time. How hard is that to understand? The leading cause for death for children since 2020 is gun violence. It's time to get off your high horse and look at the facts. And while you're looking at the facts, the Constitution clearly states that you cannot establish a religion through government. Cut that ish out. Again with the damn hypocrisy. What will bringing back prayers in schools do to stop bullets? The answer is nothing. Absolutely nothing. If the death of 19 children isn't enough to show you how much this country needs gun control and protections, then there is literally no hope for you. And that alone should disqualify Borowitz and any other politician that aligns with her beliefs from holding office. It's not and will never be about the divine right for self-defense. It's about defending children from being shot. In closing, if you're a Pennsylvania resident or know someone in Pennsylvania in the 76th district, Stephanie Borowitz is up for re-election this November. She's clearly not doing her job and is working against Pennsylvania instead of for it. It's time to end her term in office. This is Rebel HQ. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.